Okay, so now um, I guess you know the feelings that came to me since um, the video I just made, which we'll call Part One Draken. Okay, and this will be called Part Two Draken. And um, the message, you know, when I, you know, just because when I just started telling you about those secret societies in the Christian Church, I didn't even realize that that's what I was supposed to talk about until I started talking about it, it started coming through me. Boom. Because I was going to tell you about the 161 Bible again, you know, and stuff. But anyhow, so now it's, because um, I'm sure, because ever since I've been in Dragon's back and stuff, I, I can feel him. I can feel him big time. And I can, and also, um, I thought that I was able to kind of see him in the mirror a little bit the other day, but I wasn't sure. But but I can feel the calmness, and I can feel the, um, that we're going to be okay now. And I feel safe. I feel safe. Um, and I've got to stop making these videos with my pop bottles and like, I don't know if it's in the picture. Um, and I just, because Drake, Drake, and he's, he's kind of rough, and I love, I love everybody. But in the house, so now what I'm thinking is that you know, these Christian ministers are being taught to, to preach throughout the churches, throughout the world. You know, because all the churches have always preached about the apocalypse and the revelation and stuff, you know, and so a lot of them are preaching at the times now. You know, and so then they're going to say that um, there will be false people appearing on the scene that will appear to be good and loving and stuff, you know, and like they're trying to make everybody think, okay, when there's reptilians, you know, because they're monsters or anything that might look different, you know, will look like monsters or will be evil. Like, for instance, when you see pictures of hell and you saw these demons and all these people are like that, do they look like they're mean or do they look like they're in pain and agony? When you see it, really, just when you see these pictures of these people in hell, when you see them done, they look like they're really evil or they just look like they're being tormented. And they, you know, it was all, I'm just so confused, but, um, the church is still, you know, because the whole the thing about everything now, okay, if you think about our time, after death and before Christ, it's all based around Christ. <laughs> so he's the main character in this movie, but not that he's totally hippie, he's, he's like a hippie man. That's not saying that in any way about him, but disrespect at all, but he is just so, like, he's so, so cool, he's so much fun, he's not anal either. Um, but so, anyhow, but the church is, you know, because the church is literally get fanatical about stuff sometimes, you know, and so all people who go to churches just remember to ask for preachers. Are they going to say no? Well, there's a lot of really secret society that just won't be interested in getting the information, because I'm pretty good, you know, to get information on me. I've been practicing that for a long time. If you're going to get the information from them, you need to conduct them in a way that's like, Hey, but then you have to look at them with a total awe and be so almost mystified by them, like, you know, like, like, uh, make them feel like they're like just as close to God as anybody can be, because that's what they do with the videos, that's how they get, they are um, convinced or manipulated and manipulating you, but, um, uh, but, you know, like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, and, and I'm just, I don't know if you're sure I'm creative, but I will find out. You know, oh, they were which church of the schools you go to, oh, is there a group for all the teachers? Well, you know, is there a place, I think there's a place where all the ministers and preachers and pastors go, you know, and stuff, and just, you know, I'm not really good with words, and sometimes I'm better if I'm if I was dealing directly with, you know, the minister preacher guy right now, but, um, which I don't just sure I'm going to be, I'm soon, but, uh, Sometimes I um that's not that's kind of all the tree in a tree because I can't wait till I'm able to show you and start telling you because showing you you know it's like you can tell tell somebody something that's like a blue to your blue in the face with each other and you seem to manifest you know, to make it, you know, come from being just a thought or idea into something that's real, but it has to be something manifest, and so that's what I'm trying to do. So I love you guys, and I'm going to see that the Christian church is okay, and the ministry people and stuff, they're being taught that um, they're preparing all the Christians, you know, to, to think that there's no way possible that anybody that has any blood stains on their will could actually be 
um, real and be of God and creation. So, you know that everything is of God, everything is of creation. But that is otherwise, the evil is evil and the good is good. Every single thing there is is under creation. So, we're all related in one way or another, okay? It's all evolution. You can't just judge your goods, your life, your goods, your life. You know, the world in kindergarten can try to be the best friend in middle school. You know what I'm saying? But it's just evolution to the path that we all have to go through. But we all have to exercise our abilities and also understand them, understand where, understand the levels, and understand what it is to be. But we all have to appreciate what we have. So if you know it's like, you know, you know what it's like to be without it. Because you know, we know what it's like to be without it. So when you start to get taste of it, you know what it's like to be with it. You know, I can't do without it, I'll never let it go again. And to these churches, you know, they, they, you know, they literally people will say, say, okay, well, uh, I have lots of bread in my world, you know, because my, you know, um, my life is severely tainted with things I shouldn't have done. Like being a prostitute and a drug addict, and they're not really evil. I mean, you know, that's the truth. But sometimes I have gotten, like, submitting, you know, like, like, Many times in my life I've gotten mad. This is what I'm trying to say. Many times I've gotten mad, but when I get mad, I have to I have make sure I control myself that I'm not doing anything to hurt anybody ever. I don't need to stay in my box anymore. Um, I'm, you know, really. Um, now I'm not going to see. So, Master Mason, Master Mason, Master Mason, I love you so much. You are my hero. And Drake is here. Drake, come on to you know. Thank you for everything, for because you have hosted him for 20 years and made it clear because of you. He was able to come meet me and then be able to make all this work and stuff like that. And also, um, he says thank you for um, uh, letting him. Like, then he says thank you because, you know, he has depended on you for life, for life, for experience of his, his own his past life, and he's also, you know, your office and your talisman and everything. But, um, but, uh, Pamela always told me that no one blames the crystal, the key for the keeper of the prison. Because I've always, since my vision, since the very beginning, being a little girl, the prison, 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 I always knew it was a prison, a prison. You know, but there are no one who's the keeper of the prison. And then I'm thinking that that talisman, my master, Mason, has the crystal ball, the little miniature crystal ball, and that a lot of those rubies and diamonds and sapphires, and I'm all so fine, shiny, and the mirrors inside of it, and they're so mystical, magical. But, you know, I'm not for sure, you know, um, and there's really no environment in and it can be a big prison. But I'm thinking that, that um, maybe, you know, that has been like a little, I'm not sure, I don't know yet, I mean, but, you know, I like think about this because I was always tracking when I worked to it and started having the Queen Elizabeth to sign there and what, which means, by the way, uh, the crown, okay, you know, Queen Elizabeth now is wearing the crown, really she isn't, because it's just being illusion now, because the red time is going to have the queen, is no longer until she's trapped in that, in the first of all, in the master Mason's office in the talus, and because when she attacked me and tried to get to me, Drake was hiding there in the, in the crystal ball, and then when my master Mason was programmed to kill me at the end, you know, when she got in, she was in, he was in that program, Drake had stepped into him so that he didn't follow on his program, because he would have done it without, he might have done it, he might not have, but the point is that he was under mind control, that was already programmed before he got there, so it would have been for him or his fault, but, and so then Drake and stepped into my master Mason at the end, and then passed the rules without me and locked her in the prison. But, um, so the little, the little prison, the little Merlin inside of the little miniature Merlin figure, uh, you know, I bet you anything if you never go inside that prison, if you could, like, you know, like, like, imagine your mind, like, if you go in there, and she's in there, you know, it probably looks like a crystal cave or something, who knows what it looks like, but nothing like this dimension. Imagine going inside a gemstone, you know, um, whatever, and, and how beautiful they are, all the different colors they can be, all the different magic and powers you can absorb from being able to go into a gemstone and absorb certain powers that it has and bring it back out into your character, which is a very natural thing that it can be used for that, but they can also be used for prisons to trap souls and uh, uh, people, oh yeah, souls that are just like trap, to trap disembodied beings. And, um, and so, 
you know, you can try to imagine what Queen Elizabeth's crucial ball that she's inside of looks like. But let her, you know, um, even if it would be like that, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to be like thinking about it so much in the astral trap in there, and then, because, you know, but if, if you got, you couldn't get in her. Actually, never mind, Drake is like, you know, there's actually no way it can be penetrated in or out. But so many different levels of walls and layers, and so many different spells of magic that we weave around it. There's no way it can be penetrated or get out of it. Um, because I can't, because he is the keeper. Now, um, the end scene of Master Mace, and he always wanted to make it after drugs, and Panda, and if you read the letters between me and Panda, you'll see where he was trying, and the Queen was the full out to the few of us, and the Queen trying to get me pure, trying to get back drugs, and I made it, trying to do the second bit fast, and so two days of being clean, and stuff, and so, you know, the, the trick and, and, and now you know, we've been trying to get me a trick and like, we gotta help you, we gotta get you help, but soon Drake was in my master Mason here, he didn't, couldn't do anything, but when he did do things that he wasn't supposed to do, he was really punished for it, and he, you know, just hurt and tortured so bad, but he was still under, or saved under, and I don't know, but even up to the very end, um, and then I'll be shit on you, you didn't treat Drake a bit nice at all, you should better be being nice to him now, because I'm not saying it all of him. Um, I'm out of time. Uh, Master Mason, we love you. Drake, love you. But Drake wants to know if we can use your body soon, very soon, so that he can inhabit you, so that he has something very important. He has more things to tell me that I might not be able to get. In, the, in time, the information I might not be able to get in time, just get with this way, maybe, but really he needs to be able to talk to me through a mouth because there's stuff that he needs to tell me, tell us, so we can survive this.